Welcome back, everyone, to another Emacs micro lesson. This one, I think, is pretty important. Um, it's something that uh, I haven't covered yet. Installing packages in Emacs. Now, this is something that you'll have to figure out pretty early, I think. And there's a few different ways to do it. Uh, one thing I used to do was I, I would just, you know, download the packages from GitHub or whatever and, you know, manually include them in the config file. But there's actually an easier way to do it. Um, this is the way that I try to rely on uh, for most situations, which is basically the package install functions. So there's two main package managers. There's a default one, ELPA, with the system. I believe that stands for Emacs Lisp Package Archive. And then there's MELPA, which has an M on it. Um, I forget what that stands for. Uh, and there may be more package managers. I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, these ones will get you, um, I think, ev just about everywhere you need to go. And uh, there's a little recipe you can put in your config file to set up the additional package manager. Uh, this is not my recipe. Uh, so what it does is it, um, I guess, it, it requires the package functions, and then it adds the package manager to the list. Um, it has a, a package refresh contents function in here, which is good to run before installing any packages. Um, and uh, it requires use package, which is a, a nice package that will automatically install things when you run your config configuration file, like if you're moving to another workstation. So uh, that's really helpful. But of course, uh, that would mean that you'd have to, I believe, install use package first. So you, you know, we're talking about installing packages. Um, I just wanted to include this um, this little snippet here because that's what I use. I found that somewhere. So. Uh, so let's go ahead right here. Uh, I would always recommend before doing an installation, just do the, the package refresh contents in here because it's, uh, you know, even, even though I include it in the, in the little recipe at the top there, sometimes you still might have issues. So it's good to run that first. And of course, to actually um, install a package, you can just do, you know, alt X or meta X again and do package install like that and then it'll prompt you for a package. Of course, we want to install something I haven't installed already. So I have, you know, Maggot and all the, the other stuff. Um, let's see, do I have uh, HTML to org? I'm not sure what that is, but, um, but why not? Let's, uh, let's give that a try. So HTML to org. So there, now just installed that package. And um, let's see if we can do package list packages. So this will list all the stuff you have available to install. And um, it'll, it'll tell you which package manager it's in. I think, I think GNU would be Elpa and Melpa would be the other one. And uh, versions. So this is really helpful. And you can actually choose packages this way. And, a, and I believe toward the bottom, it'll tell you what is what is installed already. And uh, yeah, wow, there's a lot of stuff. So you can actually deselect things that you don't want uh, by going all the way down to the bottom. And, um, and I, I believe deselecting things. So let's see. So let's say I wanted to uninstall HTML org. Um, I can just hit delete here. Package be deleted. And, uh, and there you go. So yeah. So that is how to install and remove packages using the package install functions. Very helpful thing to know, very important as you're going through in your, your Emacs configurations. So enjoy. If you have any questions or anything, you know, feel free to leave a comment and uh, thumb up the video if you really liked it. And of course, subscribe for more micro lessons. Thanks again, everybody. See you next time.